Good, Good morning. morning. It is 4.30 a.m. and our overnight bus from Gorem to Ankara just dropped us off. We are just outside Ankara bus station. We are now waiting for a bus to take us to the airport, which as it currently stands only goes every hour. I think once it gets into actual daylight hours, it goes every half hour. So we're now waiting for that. Fingers crossed it comes. Update. The bus went flying past us and didn't even notice our attempts to wave it down, so we're stuck here for another hour. Further update, we missed the second bus and while we were trying to wave it down because we could see it passing us by, the driver just shrugged, so we figured we weren't in the right place, so we ended up going back into the terminal. We asked three people for help. We eventually got someone who knew exactly where it was, and because it is now 6.10, they are running more frequently, so there was a bus just sitting there waiting for us. We paid with cash, and we are on it, and officially on the way to the airport. Finally. Whatever Google Maps tells you in order to try and find the bus, do not believe it. We went walking for 20 minutes according to its directions, only to find it was basically exactly where we arrived to in the first place. So, bad Google. Don't do that no more. Yeah, the bus stop was pretty much next to the platform that we initially arrived on. But the good thing about going for that 20 minute walk is that we got warm, it got us moving, it killed some time. So we're going to be sitting a lot over the next day, but just so happy that we're on the bus now. just enjoyed some breakfast and coffee. I always find that I'm way more hungry than normal when I don't sleep. And that bus journey was so fast. I think it ended up actually being four and a half hours. It was a comfortable bus journey. I dozed a little bit, but it was just so short. And so we just filled up on breakfast. <laughs> And it's been great, like this lounge so far has been really, really good. We've had everything that you needed. We'll rate it a little bit later uh, once we spend a little bit more time here, but certainly for now it's been treating us well. And we are going to be spending more time here today because our flight from Ankara to Istanbul doesn't leave till 8.50 p.m. tonight. And we chose to just come to the lounge because we needed some rest. And also this is free food and free Wi-Fi free charging, comfortable seats that we could potentially doze in. And that just all seemed important today. Yep, absolutely. If you take nothing else from today's video, then it's like our travel just seems to be going to extremes. Mm -hmm. So we're either going from like budget overnight buses to lounges and business class flights. So yeah, take the bus with this space. Yeah. We had the not so glamorous of missing buses this morning, mm -hmm. two in a row, and then now we have the glamour of a lounge all day. Exactly. We'll check in in a bit.
are back to our customary lounge rating system. We are going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible because it's possible we may be visiting more than one lounge during the course of this trip. So we are in the domestic prime class lounge in Ankara Airport and we're going to give you a rundown of food, drink, cleanliness, comfort and amenities as ever. So with that, let's get started. As for food, we've now had two meals. We've had breakfast and we've had lunch. I think that the variety of food is pretty good, but the quality is so-so. It's good, but nothing to write home about, so we give it an eat. Drink choices have been really good here, not just on the alcoholic beverage front, where there is literally a bucket full of spirits, a couple of beer options, and several wine options, but also non-alcoholic drinks. You have a range of juices and various other things to keep the tight over. With that, I would put this on the higher end and say that that's an eight. As for the cleanliness, it is definitely clean, but it's not the best we've ever seen in the, that run, in the sense that there are scuff marks and dents in the chairs, and the floors seem a little bit dusty, but it's clean. So with that, we give it a name. Comfort-wise, overall, it's fine. Is it any better than any of the other lounges that we've been to? Not really. So we're going to give this one a six. As for amenities, this probably has the fewest amenities of any lounge we visited. Yes, it has free Wi-Fi and plugs, but there are no shower rooms. So with that, we give it a six. And with that, the grand total for this lounge we put at a 36. That puts this at second in our overall lead tables. The Aspire Lounge in Gatwick South Terminal is still the best that we've been to so far. After 12 hours in the Ankara Lounge, we are now boarding our flight to Istanbul in business class. such a short flight and I'm hoping that someday we get to do a longer flight on Turkish Airlines business class because it was amazing. It was so good.
Our second lounge of the day is the IGA lounge in the Istanbul airport in the international terminal. We start with food. This was probably one of the best selections of food that we've ever had. It's all traditional Turkish dishes and they were just superb. Every single one of them could not have been happier with it, but then again, we are still yet to have gone to like the first class lounge, we have no idea what we're comparing against, and we're assuming it's not absolutely perfect. So with that, we're gonna give it a nine. As for the drinks, they have fully stocked mini fridges or not so many fridges everywhere. They have all the pop, water, juice, they have coffee makers everywhere, and they have a bar that has a huge selection of spirits, wine, and beer, including draft beer, so with that, we're giving it a nine as well. On the cleanliness front, we gave this one an eight. It is, generally speaking, very clean, but because of the fact that you do have a lot of people moving around, and it is a really big area, it can't be completely spotless everywhere, so therefore, we're sticking with that. In regards to comfort, what we really like is that they have multiple different seating areas, featuring different types of chairs and different types of table and chair configurations. So with that, we're giving it a nine. In terms of amenities, this place has so much going on. The bathrooms are immaculate. They have huge shower rooms. They also have a multi-faith center with ablution rooms for Muslim prayers as well. On top of that, they even have pool tables, which I'm sure you'll have seen in previous footage. They even have a kid's playroom just over there. They have pretty much everything that you can shake a stick at, but there is one particular thing which is a sticking point, and that is that Wi-Fi is not free. Had the Wi-Fi been free, then I think this could even be a 10, but as it stands, the lack of Wi-Fi is a big sticking point, so we're giving this one an eight. With that all said, the total is 43 out of 50, which makes this the highest rated lounge that we've been to so far. It is 3.45 in the morning, and after about four hours in the lounge, we are now headed to Cairo, but it's still not our final destination. Turns out Istanbul Airport is absolutely fast, and despite the fact that we were going at quite a pace in order to get there, we got in when they were announcing last call. But we're on our way to Cairo. That's the important thing. about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? It is now 9.30 and we have arrived in our final destination of Amman, Jordan. But we haven't slept in two nights because of the overnight bus and our overnight flight, so we are going to head to our hotel. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.